Greetings viewers and welcome to today's info sharing snippet where we will be covering the projects feature within Sagestrom Evolution. Now projects really allow you to set up activities and keep fine track on the costs and any transactions pertaining to those activities and based upon that then generate reports specifically for your projects. Let's see exactly how the process unfolds. Firstly, under my common maintenance, I have the ability to set up projects. And really, it's a case of adding a project, specifying a code, a name and description. Now, within projects, we have the ability to set up a sub-project, master project hierarchy. In the same way as you can set up master and sub-account structures within your general ledger accounts and evolution. So, for example, we can make use of a housing project. We've got a housing project and within the project, you're going to be building separate units. So we've got the main project and that could be our housing project. So this is gonna be our main project. And now I'm going to go add a couple of sub projects which would be tasks that would be applicable for different units within this housing project. So for example, we could have maybe and it's going to be the tiling process and I'm going to link that to my housing project. There we go. And we'll then for example have maybe And we could then have, for example, maybe the paving process. Right, so we now have our main project being the housing project or our master project. And then below that, we've got sub projects being the paving, the tiling and the plumbing. Right, so the project being created and you can obviously create as many projects as you like, and then if necessary, link them to certain sub projects, etc. Right, so with regards to projects is that when processing any type of source document transactions, uh, for example, uh, invoices, goods received, vouchers, etc., cetera, um, cash books, journals, the project option is going to be available, which allows you then to go link that transaction to a specific project. So, there are really two ways in which you can list projects. And if I'm going to go to my inventory maintenance defaults, under my inventory defaults, I'm going to go to the entry options tab. And you'll notice is that we have three options there. First, it's the ability to post a project per document, post a project per line, or for, and as well as force projects. So force projects simply means is that the transactional process cannot be completed until project in, until project information is inserted in that particular field. And then project per document means specifically if it runs things like um, source documents, invoices, GRVs, credit notes, et cetera, where you're going to have the document linked to one particular project. Project per line allows you to be a lot more specific whereby if you've got multiple line items, you can link those line items to different projects within the source document. So let's just start off with post project per document. And we've set those details. And we can then go and process some transactions and see exactly how those transactions are linked to our project. So firstly, I'm going to go to transactions and a goods received voucher. So I've got my details, uh, simply specify a supplier. And you'll notice is that I've got the ability to specify projects. I'm gonna say, for example, I've got my tiling process project. And now it's simply a case of 
specify the items. Right, so at this point, all of these items are currently linked to my tiling project. And I'm just going to insert supply invoice number here and process the transaction. So I've kept those information and we have those details linked to a specific project. And the next step would be to go to my invoicing and if I were to process an invoice, once again, we'll see that we have the ability to go and specify a project on the transaction. So once again, link it to our tiling process, and we can then simply go and specify the item. So once again, I've got my information there and it's simply a case of saying process the transaction and linking it to the project. Now, with regards to customizing the layout of all your documents, you are able to add the project information onto the layout of your documents simply by customizing said layout and adding the information that you require. Now, if you notice is that these are related to our source documents, but as I mentioned earlier, is that you are able to add project information to other, to other types of transactions. So under my job costing, if I go to transactions, under my job cards, you'll see add an, if I add a new job, that I've got the ability to add under my job details, I've got the project option available. Uh, if I go to my bill of materials manufacturing processes and adding new manufacturer process, you see that I do have the ability to specify project as well. And for example, if you are using contact management and generating incidents based on contact management, we have the ability to specify project there. So there's my incident information, and we then have the ability to specify our project details on the incident. Under my general ledger, if I create a cash book batch or a journal batch, journal batches, and I do have the project field available where I can link those transaction lines to a project. And the same scenario will apply if I'm processing a cash book batch. So cash book batches. And you'll see that I've got the project option available where I can go link the transaction to the project. Now, with regards to reports, we can always just, there are multiple reports where you have the ability to insert or create or specify project filter. So for example, if I maybe go to say inventory reports and I go perhaps to a transactions report under inventory, you see that under transactions, I've got the ability to specify projects and I can also filter about projects and be a lot more specific about what I want to see in the report based on transactions linked to those projects. Now, with regards to budgets, we, in evolution, we have the ability to process or create budgets for geo accounts. 
However, we also have the ability to process budgets for projects. And the general ledger maintenance, we have the ability to go to budgets and project budgets. So when specifying a general account for budget, I do the ability to specify a project there based on a specific year. So if, for example, if undertaking some sort of um, process, you then can link that to a project, specify a budget for the project, and then determine exactly what your expenditure what your expenditure was for the project, income, et cetera, and just determine if you're on track with regards to your project information. Right, so that's your budget and your project budget. And now let's just go see exactly one of the most well, one of the very useful reports that you can determine the process or the uh, where you can track your projects really is under general ledger reports. And we've got the ability to view project profit and loss report. So if I go in there, I can simply specify my date range, specify the projects. And what you'll notice here is that I'm going to just go and specify project that I used previously. Right, there's my date range and preview. Right, so what we have here is got our project, we've got the income on the project and the relevant information there, and we can see exactly the gross profit per project. Now, what you notice is that we can obviously, we've got an actual, we've got the project details, and any transactions which were unallocated to projects, you can display also in this report. So, very useful to determine exactly if you're on a project, what, for example, your sales expenses were for the project, and what the process was, is there a profit or gross profit or a loss on your particular project and keep real tabs on exactly what your expenses are per project. Now, just going back a step with regards to the entry options. So if I then look at my, if I revert back to my inventory defaults, Initially, we are using the entry option being post project per document. So it's one project per document. I can then change that and use the post projects per line feature, which I'm going to be implementing now. And we'll be able to see how that impacts the source documents when processing transactions. So it's going to be, I'm going to go process once again an invoice. So there's my transactions. And just go to, for example, a goods received voucher. And what you notice at this particular point is that we now have an additional project column on the lines of the document. So I can simply go and say, specify my item. And then a project point, I can then simply go link it to a project. Uh, one different item. And we then have the ability to go and specify different line items, linking them to different projects, and also instances whereby um, you may have items which aren't linked to projects, simply um, not insert information there, seeing as though the force project option hasn't been specified. So I've therefore got my three items. I've then got the details there, project per line. So I can certainly be a lot specific about every line item, linking it to project, et cetera. And I can then simply go and complete the transaction, process the invoice,
and the transaction has been completed. And then once again, really a case of reverting to my general ledger, uh, going to my reports, and then being able to view the project profit and loss report, the project, etc. And let's just specify filter option there. And we're good to go. So as you can see, we've got details there, actual, et cetera, and allocated, et cetera. And we can then process the transaction. Now, we also have the ability to view a project budget versus actual report. So if you have included, for example, things like uh, project budgets, you can simply go specify or specify your project, check the details by general ledger account, and then see exactly how your project budget is faring with regards to things like maybe the income on the project or the expense of the project. So project tracking really is a very useful feature which allows you to keep tabs on all transactions linked to a specific project, view reports based on this project information, and then determine what information you require specifically with regards to your reports. I do hope you've enjoyed this presentation. Thank you for watching. It's over and out for me, and goodbye.